The past few days, Fort Collins has been experiencing a moth invasion. The vagabond Krambus has taken over the community because of a past outbreak of lawn feeding caterpillars. We think that it is a sort of local phenomenon. We don't anticipate it meaning anything. So, you know, sometimes we think giant Miller moth numbers equal big problems later. In this case, since there's these giant numbers, and we haven't seen anything like this in over 30 years here in Colorado, nothing of, of, of this scale with the sod webworm, what it's actually showing us is a past infestation. So the caterpillars of this, of this moth actually feed on the, the blades of grass, on grass tips. So that means that during this summer, there were hundreds and thousands of little caterpillars feeding on the grass and yet almost nobody noticed. There was no calls in about problems in grass or turf dying or anything like that. So it's a past infestation and this is the remnant of that. This localized phenomenon is only happening in certain parts of Colorado. Camper thinks this could be caused by a storm pushing the moss in a certain direction or simply an increase in insect numbers. Whatever the reason, this moth apocalypse is record breaking. This is the largest number of this species of moths that we've ever seen here in Colorado, at least in the last 30 years. While the moths are harmless, the abundance of fluttering vagabond Krambus are annoying to some. I just like wave my arms at them and uh, yeah, it's, I, I do think it's, it's kind of gross. I mean, like they're, I guess they aren't hurting anything, but it's just like they're everywhere and then their corpses are everywhere and it's like you can't step or like move without like touching them, you know. Camper thinks this isolated event will be over by Friday or Saturday and that Fort Collins may never experience this spectacular moth swarm again. After Friday or Saturday, their energy will have uh, petered out and they will die. So there'll be lots of dead moths around, happy birds.